three, two, one, da, 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 go. All right, so we're back from Columbus, dude. How, what do you think? Yeah, I'm super pumped, excited, because now I earn my hashtag biased coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is biased, isn't he? I, I, you know what? I, I didn't make a prediction on this show for you a did. reason. No, I didn't. You did. You said, you said that. Nick can winning it. Well, I said that a while ago. Did he say the F-bomb? Huh? With F. No, you know, that, no, that no. Makes a, that makes it. All right, so we, we are back for our episode of Cutler Cast, but you were, like, itching out of your seat at the finals to say when was the, when we were back backstage. What was his comment to I us? Think, I think Milos was texting me during the finals. By the time you. we should have a podcast, 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 podcast. Yeah. That's what would be nice when we have our traveling podcast. We could have just done yeah. it that, that evening. Could you imagine you know, if we would have filmed him that night? I'm very disappointed, though. You didn't do any wrap-up videos, did you? No. They didn't want to bring you on, huh? You know why they didn't want to bring you on? Because you're, you're biased. <laughs> you're a biased coach. No, because you were right. For the, fir- yeah, for the first time in my life, right? I have a now. What did I tell you? And now they're not going to call me. You know, shit. Hey, but you know what? The Cutler cast called you. Yeah, no. So you called us. That's why I was like texting you all day. You were still on the plane. What time? What time? What time? What time? What time? Okay, so <clears throat> all right, so we just got back, Columbus, Ohio, 2023 Arnold Classic. I want to talk a little bit about the other divisions. Laura Lee won mm-hmm. her. We second. defended her title. Yep. Second. Okay. Uh, Maureen was second. Great. Maureen Miss Olympia was uh, held the second place, She's and second. of course Jen Doria was third. 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 And Ashley caught also yes. fourth. Yeah, which Local was, girl. you know, we, we didn't know what to expect there. I mean, obviously there was an upset, you know, mm-hmm. Miss Olympia, although Laura leaves just She's had right great there. success, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Kind of mixed match in that division. I think all the girls looked great. I don't think it could, it could have gone either way between all four of those girls, in my opinion. But mm-hmm. Laura Lee looked amazing. I mean, we'll see what the uh, if that hypes up the, uh, the Olympia. The good thing, I spoke to Jen, you know, after the show, and I know she was really gunning to go win that show yes. and try to, like, redeem, obviously, mm-hmm. the Olympia. And one thing, you know, sh- I mean, she's qualified till the end of time, right? You yeah. win the Olympia once, it's it's pretty awesome. So you don't have to like she, stress she about it. She probably needs a break. She's been dying a long. Yeah, time. she's been going at it. Yeah. But uh, classic physique, mm-hmm. Ramon Dino. Ramon looked great, right? Yeah, I mean, first let, let's talk about bikini. If it's close in bodybuilding, there's much closer in bikini. In bikini, yeah. you have like so many just, girls. It's just like so, so hard to judge, right? So hard to judge, yeah. So it could go either way. I don't know exactly what specific. The criteria delegate. changes, I think, a little bit sometimes, right? Yeah. yeah. I think I mean, Jan- Jennifer and Maureen are a little bit uh, shorter and, uh, you know, bubbly. You know? Yeah. So uh, they, they went with the uh, you know, uh, higher Longer. looking, a li- little bit uh, slimmer, literally. Yeah, you, you never know, but uh, I'm not judging the bikini. I'm not going to even go there, but I, I just know when I'm looking at it, it's like so, so, so close. How do you determine? You, you can make an argument for first through last yeah. and swap. Yeah. Because they're all that close. Yeah, not exactly to the last, but, you know, top five. Well, last in, at the Arnold, there's uh, nine, yeah. nine girls. I mean, okay. being, an invi- good. being an invitational, I mean, yeah. they pick, you know, exactly. obviously it's limited in classes too. So I think all classes had pretty much under 10 people, right? I mean, yeah. pretty yeah. much. Yeah, you, you mentioned classic, and uh, Ramon looked out of this world. Exactly. I don't know what Chris did with him, but those pictures the day before, it's the uh, most an insane conditioning I've ever seen in my life. Did you see those Instagram photos? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Chris says that he's still, because of the restricted weight, Yeah, he's you're not seeing the best Ramon. How do you feel about this weight? I like, hate it from the very beginning. I ask who on earth made this height to, you think to weight ratio. Cha- you think they'll they change have it? They have to. You see, so this is a perfect example. He is so, so, so good, and Chris said he had to drop like another five kilos, like 11 pounds, to make the weight. Yeah. And this, this is this is uh, detrimental travesty. to yeah. a physique, yeah. Yes, and, and the health and everything else. I mean, we're going to touch the subject of dehydration and diuretics and everything else. Yeah, you know, we took diuretics. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you know, let me just put it this way. Okay, this is unex- unexpected. But... Uh, I went to an uh, international market here in Las Vegas. I went to the Serbian store. And then I went to the Russian store, normal store. And then uh, next thing you know, I was like, oh, uh, there is a nutritional supplement section. I said, okay, uh, what is it? And it's, oh, furosemide. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> Lasix. <laughs> so I go to the, the cashier. Uh, you need it here. You, know, you need the no, like box. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show <laughs> this right here. You see this? Yeah. This is what Milos texted me last night. Yeah, I took one. Come on, one minute. He had to get rid of this so his fat face didn't look fat <laughs> on the screen. Huh? 
I have to be chiseled because uh, because uh, uh, Jay is old. Is it way at home? But is this enough for me? Uh, until Friday. You Friday. Know, yeah. So if I take like ten take of these for, for the day. Six. <laughs> take for the day. Where's uh, my potassium? You're trying to stop my this heart. Is, this is dangerous. So yeah, this yeah. is so, dangerous. So tell us. But, but uh, hey, I, I was asking. Hey, you have a phone. I was asking. This. What is this? It's nutritional supplement. I said, Are you sure? I said, For what is? It's for blood pressure and for edema. So I told her, indeed. Oh yeah, in the middle of a. Uh, hey, hey, we just talked about Jennifer. <laughs> anyway. That's Milos on here. We're, we're in the middle of a podcast right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dan, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, am I gonna get, do I get paid for an appearance? Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, I'll call you back once I finish. <laughs> You're going to be live on the air. Bye. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> we were talking about um, dehydration, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be a huge part of this uh, podcast anyway. You know, so l let's just put something that is very important to discuss. Medically, uh, when you dehydrate your body for over 10%, it's considered a danger, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we had uh, so many multiple examples of guys going too far. So there was great Lee Haney in the Muscle Development uh, podcast talking to Ron Harris, and there is a thumbnail in Stop Rewarding a Dry Condition. And he talked about this in detail, right? Uh, you can imagine me as a Samsung's coach, how many messages, oh, suck him dry, suck him dry, suck him dry, right? What do you mean by sucking him dry? You know? That sounds really fucking mad. It's, I mean, but this is how it is. <laughs> and then <laughs> when, <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> you know what? That's going to be a real. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to note the, Hold no, on. No, no, I'm noting the no. time right here so I don't lose that one. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go back to whatever you were saying. Yeah, no, my, my chain of time is completely gone. <laughs> no, you said so, you, so the guys are getting too. Like, yeah, just the Get him make, bone dry, right? Yeah, just get him drier, get him drier. So, what does it mean, get him drier? Okay, then how, how do you get yeah. somebody drier? Oh, so you want me to use more diuretics? There is a certain you know level of dehydration you're going to accomplish naturally, but we all know that uh, at that level you have to do something we all did something and that how much of that something yeah. so as lee haney said from very beginning look we have to be healthy we have to have a longevity and we have to you know continue after we we finish so the fact is if you want to achieve that crazy conditioning you will have to go a step further and uh, i consider that we don't need to go that that far if i ask you who is the most ripped, dry guy in the history of IBB ever? Hab, 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 that guy with the glutes. Abdullah Ayukutlu, okay. Yeah, yeah, Turkish guy. I, I don't think so. I think that Andreas, Andreas Munzer, 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 yeah, yeah, Munzer. Yeah, probably, yeah. Munzer where's, takes where's it out. Yeah, yeah, where is he at? And not just that, has he ever won the pro show? And I can tell you the answer, no, he didn't because I was competing in that era. So you are going into the show knowing that he, uh, he was balanced, complete, ripped two pieces, legs like you cannot believe, like yours, shredded feathers all over the place, back, I mean, it was crazy. He never won the show. Gaspari, would Gaspari ever beat Lee Haney? No chance. You know, so there, there are those things uh, to consider, and uh, I mentioned great Lee Haney, and today on Instagram I post a picture of him and uh, uh, Samson just to see hashtag bodybuilding. I mean, we are still talking about the bodybuilding, and uh, this is why I put it. I mean, as a combination of everything, we're going to go with a high D footage. You know, guys uh, warn me, so like, oh, when you see a high, de uh, high uh, resolution footage, yeah. you're not going to think that Samsung. You can't tell me it will say anything. Samsung okay. won, yeah. <laughs> hands <You're> down. You're a parrot. <laughs> Samsung was the best combination of everything. I know, but we're not talking about that We're not talking about that, about that yet. yet. Not yet. Yeah. So, so Ramon, Ramon won. Okay, so, yeah. do you, so to go back, do you... Uh, do you think eventually they'll change? Because he's at the cusp, right, of the height versus right the there. weight, right? I, where, I, where Chris Bumstead is a somehow, little taller because he, his weight limit's like 240, 240 or something, yeah. right? Somehow he has that room to grow, and he looks the biggest on stage anyway. I, I'm not what, gonna what, go what is their the, height difference, an inch and a half maybe? Uh, Ramon's uh, probably 5'11". I would guess. Uh, I, I guess uh, Chris is 6'2". Six 6'1". Six one. Six one? I don't know. But either way, I, I contacted Jim Mannion before, and I, I 
told him about it, who created that uh, ratio. And I just talked to Tyler, and then I talked to Tyler six months ago, maybe even more, and, and I said, like, not just there is not enough, because many classic physique guys are looking phenomenal as they are, but then they have to make the weight and squeeze another five or ten pounds. So said, who made that? And if you keep it constant for many years, that means that Ramon or whoever else now – they can't improve next year and next year. They can't build any muscle because they're gonna be heavier. Then what are you doing? You don't have a progression. So this has to be kind of dynamic change. So then somebody at the bottom of a class would have more of an advantage because they're not well, stripping well, anything it's off. Like, it's like the Clarita <coughs> effect in the 212. Like yeah. flex, I talked to- um, Derek Lunsford. I, yeah, I, I mean Lunsford, uh, Kamal, they all, can't make that 212 right yeah. it's very difficult for them so they haven't switched that weight so what makes you think that they would do it for classic yeah but 212 is a, a limit because they, they decide 202 you know they started with 202 yeah, and that yeah. was too little okay. you know so they, they gave it 212 so why do we have a weight division classes at nationals you know you have your division and be there and now, uh, okay, the courageous Sean Clarida came into the open division thinking maybe he can slide the Giants, but not at this level, right? I personally don't think he beat uh, Regan. I talk about it. There's no way, but they gave it to him, maybe encourage him. So he would maybe think that pound for pound he can uh, stand next to all those guys. But you see it. I mean, he's 120 pounds lighter than uh, uh, Andrew and, and Samson and uh, Big Ramy each. 120 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, Urs. Urs said Urs. he, he uh, how close was it between him and Ramon? I mean. Did I, Ramon distance I, I, himself I think, at this I contest? I Ramon won it yeah. pretty handedly. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, I was shocked. Uh, Urs was in the hospital five days out. Yeah, that's what he told me. Yeah, we, we, I had no idea. And he, I, I think that Urs looked better now than uh, at Olympia. I think he's. Urs just needs time still. He still he needs time. time. Yeah. Um, he has a. Possibly better structure than Ramon for just the class. He needs to fill out. So if, if, if you are advising him, just take the rest of the year off and just do the Olympia. I, He's already qualified. Yes. Uh, and he needs to put this 100% out. because what is any other show going to do for him? Nothing. How's he qualified? Yeah. Top, whatever, top five at the Olympia. He got third. Is this? Yeah. I think it's top oh. three. Oh, it is? Okay. I think yeah. for classic. I think. I could yeah, be probably, wrong. I could be wrong. I don't want to say anything. But I hope he's qualified so he doesn't need Earth is consummate professional. He loves this. Yeah, I mean, you can, see, yeah, yeah. you can see that he enjoys every moment. A good of six it. months in the gym off season for him would do work wonders. He needs a little bit more back, a little bit more arms. arms yeah. And uh, legs are phenomenal. Conditioning is crazy. And, you but know. he, but it was it was a pretty uh, I believe, I slam so. dunk victory for Ramon, huh? Uh, you know, when you say slam dunk, it's not like lights out. Okay, this is close, but I would go to this uh, favor to this. You know? He deserved all first. Yeah. What yeah. about yeah. Uh, so Ebanks de defends? Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Great. He, he great. Was, uh, he, he distanced himself. Did he look better than the Olympia? Or is he improving? I don't know if he looked better. I don't does know he if he looked better. <laughs> he, said he, he said he was perfect on the podcast. So, I mean, does he need to I, I don't think. I mean, look, the only guy that, that even came close to him wasn't in the show in Brandon Hendrickson. Yeah. So, yeah. I expected this to happen. Yeah. It's just my opinion. Just got a different look than a lot of the guys, right? He's, He's a tall champion. Tall and wide. And tall, wide, V-tapered, great back, crazy abs. You know, it's perfect for we, a man's we, we, we joked with him and said, man, you put 15 pounds on, he could go do classic. He's as wide as Bumstead. Yeah. I know. And he's got the itty bitty waist. Let's put this in perspective. Uh, Brandon Hendrickson can go in, into the he classic should, yeah. physique very okay. easily. Yeah. And there are a bunch of other guys that are so muscular. Because they do have legs. Even though they don't show them, it doesn't mean they don't have them. They yeah. have legs. Some people do. Yeah. yeah. And, and because of that reason, you should shorten that uh, shorts and uh, show them and judge them. I mean, uh, seriously, this is another thing. Uh, classic physique, my recommendation is change the limits a little bit. Give them more weight. You know, they still look classic. You are, you are judging them. So if they, you know, put too much and they are too muscular, judges are going to mark them down and they're going to be told, hey, go to the other division. You are too big for this. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of talk about the classic physique needs more credibility. Okay, it, it needs to be looked at as a bigger division than it is, more money, uh, more focus on it. Do you feel that with these changes, it will help increase the popularity? I mean, it's already popular, but will it increase? It's super popular. 
And you said uh, in one of the podcasts that maybe it's going to even take over the open. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that's going to ever that. happen. No. Yeah, but uh, it's very uh, valid uh, category, and we all that like classic physics, aesthetics, and shape and posing. I mean, those guys posed their asses off. I loved it. Uh, I think increasing a prize money is a very good start to attract more people. If a promoter can increase the prize money that's it's not thing. even a question if can they can you know put you know some limits i mean 1991 when they competed the first time there was the same prize money as now yeah you know just to imagine uh, the reason that. i say that is a lot of promoters lose they don't have they don't even make money uh, too bad so sad why the, then don't don't organize the show there's way too many shows you know, that, make it, make it, it, make maybe, it elite. You know, this is pro they level. Should, maybe they should have twenty shows. Period. That's I it. mean, I don't know, but uh, yeah. I just feel bad about yeah. uh, prize money. I mean, I uh, you, you spend way more money preparing for the show than you're gonna earn. Of course, I, I think every division you spend more money preparing than you're gonna make, unless it's the Arnold or the Olympics. Unless it's three hundred thousand. Unless you, yeah, <laughs> unless you win a big one that has a huge, yeah. huge check. Yes. But otherwise, yeah. And then uh, fitness, Ariel Kadar. Note this, edit this, because I lost all my sound. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. A second ago. Um, I have no sound, so just hold it. Make sure you write a... Okay. No, we can still this. hear you. Huh? We can still hear you. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I, but the mic's off. I have no sound in my... You have no in your yeah. ears, not the mic. Okay, okay. Just, okay. It didn't change. We just saw okay. you struggling, but okay. uh, there was no difference. In okay, the, so, uh, yeah, so Aria won. What about uh, wellness? She she was winner last year, correct? No. It was. Uh, I'm I thought Ariel. I thought Ariel oh, no, won oh, last you year. You said uh, fitness. Yeah. yeah. Fitness. Wellness. No, it was a different. Yes. Wellness is from. Uh, Canada, but Ariel right? won last year. Ariel, fitness. Yes. yes she won and last then year. for wellness. Wellness. It was. A, it was a new winner. Yeah. I, I forgot the girl. I forgot the name. Uh, uh, Angela was second, and uh, this girl is from Canada, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So not Brazilian. She wasn't. It was, yeah. She was <laughs> a non-Brazilian. Winner. Non-Brazilian. The girl winner, that won yeah. last year. I for, why am I forgetting her? It name? was uh, Isa. You say, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So she wasn't in the show. Yeah, excellent. I mean, uh, I, sal- right, so I salute we, wellness. Now we get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Here we are. So we have a new Arno Classic champion, someone you predicted mm-hmm. to win it. And uh, why, why, did I, why did I predict it? How many times we, we talk about this? You said, you know, I said, uh, conditioning is not enough to win the contest. You know, so conditioning is not enough. You should have to consider everything else. And I mean, uh, Jay, I always use you as an example. So sorry, but I'm going to use you again. Uh, I am a static guy. Yes, I like shape, the symmetry, proportion, balance, and all this stuff. But how many times I said 2009, you smoked Dexter Jackson who is dramatically more symmetrical and aesthetic. And I'm the first one to say, you deserve it. You earn it. Okay? And in... Oh, no. I'm losing it too. Uh, okay. I lost my left. I lost everything, so... Huh? We have no audio. No, we keep talking. Uh, okay, okay. Is it okay? Or? Yeah. yeah, okay. Now it's coming back. Don't move. Don't breathe. Okay. So, uh, many times you won the show because you were the most complete bodybuilder on stage. So going into the show, we were all playing for our strengths. Nick Walker had to go for the conditioning. He is a freaky, muscular guy, and he's going to overwhelm with the conditioning. And I knew that. Uh, I said that many times. We're not going to beat Nick on conditioning, but we're going to beat him on the combination of uh, proportion, symmetry, size, fullness, dryness. I mean, uh, when you compare... Was Samson the driest one, leanest one? No, but it was most complete. <laughs> I text you right now. If he if that if he doesn't win, it would be a travesty. You know what's funny is we talk about judging, mm-hmm. and I can say this, and I'm going to be just a hundred percent blunt. I believe the judging has never been better. Yes, in the last two, two I mean, I as I can remember, I'm going to talk about last the Olympia. When Hadi won mm-hmm. to this show, I mean, it is just seems to be spot on. Do you agree? 100%. Wait, well, okay. If I'm a judge, I could still see the argument for uh, uh, Andrew maybe being maybe. second. Okay, maybe. but I'm going to talk about this. Yeah, okay, we're going to talk about, like uh, Matt says, uh, uh, Nick could be the first or third. You know, but uh, 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 I, I don't agree. I think uh, any one of those top three guys could have won. Could have won. Yeah. 
I, I don't think we would have argued if Nick or Andrew, and I'll be honest, I yeah. mean, I sat and watched, he, we watched the footage last night on the plane ride home, <laughs> and I watched the first call out, and I, that's what's different <clears throat> about videos versus being there, okay? Yes. I, looking at the video, I said, Andrew wins this. If I was at home, Andrew jacked, and my experience, and hence why I'm not a judge, I saw Andrew Jack as a clear winner by the first call out, meaning the first before they moved them around. Yeah. Obviously, he finished third. Based on uh, symmetry D and conditions. Symmetry, detail. Is he not as big? Yes. Do I feel he, I hate the, to use the word slender or, okay. or, um, I, I, I'm just going to throw this word out there, which has n zero, like skinny. Let's just say mm -hmm. I've heard I heard I had people say that. Okay, but he looks skinny. But I'm looking at, is this live right now? No, I, I can okay, put but, it on. You want me to put but, it on? Yeah, you know what I feel Andrew lost? Mm -hmm. Andrew lost that wow factor when he stood there, unless he's just next to more dominant people. Well, yeah, dumb, more dumb people. When he was in Texas and when he was in other shows in... Uh, he stood next to less people, yeah, right? Yeah, and he was overwhelming and you can't touch that. But here, yes, and, and this is a perfect example. If you just uh, don't play the video, just put this picture. Right now, this picture, you know, shows a lot. It tells a story. Oh, it yeah. tells a story, right? So... I mean, looking at this picture, bro, Samson wins down. this, yes. right? Hands down, considering everything that should go into aspects of judging. You know, you beat Phil Heat and you beat uh, Dexter and others on the overwhelming yes, width yes, and yes. size and volume. Agreed. And they keep telling me, hey, it's not classic, it's open bodybuilding. It's not classic. It's, uh, okay. So just because uh, 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 Andrew and uh, Samson look classic bodybuilders, right? You know, beautiful shapes. And so oh, that's not open. No, no, no. It's muscle building or bodybuilding. This is still bodybuilding. But here, direct comparison of Andrew and, and Samson. Samson had that thickness. I mean, look at the legs. You know, look at just overall, you know, muscle development. I love Andrew's shape. And th this is why I said there's many poses that maybe Andrew can overtake uh, Samson because of the detail that you said, the sharpness. They brought crazy conditioning. But because they went for conditioning, I said that before, he'll probably sacrifice some size and that wow factor. Especially standing next to uh, Samson, I, I, I knew he's going to expose him there. And... You know, when we're going to, uh, okay, I want everybody to pay attention when we run the video. It's, it's, you know, one thing is when you just uh, go pose by pose, okay, freeze and look at it and judge it. And the other thing is when you see everything else in between. So moving around, you know, that's when you don't pose, then you, you kind of relax. That's when you can see true size, true thickness. And that's where I think Samson really uh, attracted attention over Andrew, that he was way more muscular. And as far as uh, Nick Walker, I mean, uh, let's talk. Nick would be uh, in category of you. You go for your strengths and you were winning the shows and Nick can go for his strengths and win the shows. Crazy conditioning, yes. But I think he sacrificed a little bit too much from Olympia and lost the size in the legs. And that uh, now created even more disbalance from upper body, lower body and exposed his waist to quad ratio. You know, so I, I mean, by looking at this image that we're looking right at right now, right is this here. live on the screen, Matt? Yeah, that, that should be. I right. mean, I can see where Nick, you know, he definitely, the legs, just unless it's just, you know, hey, this might be the Nick Walker that we saw at the Olympia, but we just looking at two guys that obviously, you know, he didn't stand yeah. in this on this stage in front of, you know. How about this lighting, too, by the way? This beautiful. is pretty good lighting, huh? This is beautiful. I mean, this we talked about black backgrounds, but yeah. this works. This works, but I mean, this picture right here. Uh, I, I don't Matt. know, you know, I, I think you would agree, Matt, right? I yeah. mean, the lighting yeah, seemed really to good. be the pretty solid in this. I'm going to press play. Okay. So maybe I was wrong about the black background a little bit, huh? You can never there's, go wrong with the black, but not, this was good. stuff moving mm -hmm. behind it. I mean, the lights are perfect. Look at here. I mean, uh, let's give the credit what the credit is due. Yeah, whatever is behind, it does so not that's matter. Just standing relaxed. So, yeah. So, here, I, I mean, there is no argument. And this is when I keep talking about symmetry round, symmetry shape, right? And uh, uh, I might say, maybe, maybe uh, judges are listening also. Maybe what Bob Chikrino says, oh, yeah, everything is considered. I said, put the number on it so we know that it's considered, but maybe now they didn't have to, but maybe they consider a little bit more, okay, let's judge this and put in consideration. 
And uh, this is a uh, slam dunk for me. I think that uh, Samsung here is dominant. I love Andrew's shape, but still because of the size, I open body. It looks building. like Andrew's hunched forward instead of. Yeah, because uh, he's uh, crunching the abs, and uh, you know he didn't open up. That, that was me and Chris Cormier. I would s show my abs; he would open up and create more V taper. But that's your choice, right? Okay, here. You want to stop? Okay. So, uh, looking at the Samsung is l looking at Lee Haney front double biceps. You know, this this is how I see it. You just again shut the lights and look at the silhouette, V taper, X frame. You know. Uh, I love, of course, uh, um, Andrew Jack. See, I think Andrew beats him here. Yeah, possibly. I have my, no my, argument. My opinion. I have no argument be, uh, on what? On the uh, crazy uh, detail of the abs and pretty good arms. The, the biceps. But legs are a little bit light. Okay? A little bit you know, light. You know what it is, though? His legs look light because he's got Rami to the side of him. No. He's the biggest legs ever. <laughs> but his legs aren't much smaller than Samson's a little bit. It is. I mean, yeah. he creates illusion that sometimes it's yeah. uh, comparable. I, I watch that. He yeah. creates the illusion that you can compare it, but when you really see what I was saying, when you move around, yeah. you can see the volume. That's what I was telling Jay. In person, yeah. you in can person see is it. different. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, and uh, look. Let's talk, uh, about Nick too. talk about Nick. Yeah, Nick is crazy upper body front double biceps, mm -hmm. but especially here, he elongates his uh, upper body and, uh, you know. Uh, Do you like it already crunches down or no? You know, I would do the Lee Priest thing and uh, pull the posing chunks a little bit higher to create that illusion. Mm -hmm. Right, upper body is uh, too long and short mm -hmm. legs. Uh, he lost a little bit of volume in the quads, yeah. and he could not afford that. Yeah, he could not afford it because that was that was making him, uh, you know, uh, more impressive. Arms, biceps is like you know you can only. <laughs> hope for anybody he, he looks great but but that's why i'm saying it's not slam duck victory and oh, he just lost he just okay you have to place them for a second third and i could see him lose this pose okay can you rewind a little bit <laughs> and i know i'm gonna be pain in the ass but i'm gonna uh, okay so now pay attention to their stomachs as they're going into the pose okay here a little bit more and then uh, oh you see mm -hmm. judges see that Okay, yeah. I just see that. Yeah. And uh, I, I was actually thinking in this uh, uh, front lot spread that uh, Andrew is going to dominate because uh, I've seen him many times. But uh, by losing that size a little bit, uh, look, he didn't open completely. Lats are not out completely. And uh, uh, Samson, you know, here now, abs are not that much difference. Yes, uh, Andrew has a deeper abs for sure, but uh, lighter in the legs, hey, for me, Samson wins this pose. Again, that's not a good Nick's pose. You know, that's uh, one of the, he did it okay, but we all know front last spread is not Nick's pose. Now, let's just talk uh, for a second with the Rami. When they came out, Rami was in the middle, and they, you, you weren't there. The first comparison, right away, uh, Rami and Samson was in they his position, him. they move him, they, yeah. they replace him. So they didn't give a Rami uh, even one pose chance to be maybe there. You know, they immediately uh, said, okay, you know, uh, seeing what they saw that one minute pose, you know, they determined, okay, it's between these three. Mm -hmm. So they, they put Rami on the side. Was Rami better than the Olympia? Uh, especially Saturday, I think he was here, you know, so, so. I mean, uh, there's not enough detail. Uh, and there is not enough uh, beauty comparing to the guys next to him, right? So for me, uh, here and let's let's talk about Sean Clarita, most compact guy, uh, crazy condition, everything is beautiful, but it's narrow. So you know, I think the judges uh, showed him clearly that stay in your division and dominate. You know, equals. Don't try to be somebody that is twice your size. You know. So what do you, what do you think, Jay? I mean, I'm agreeing with what he's saying. I mean, I, I mean, listen, Andrew, I think Andrew definitely, I don't know, because he's not as round as Samson might have more a little more detail in certain body parts. But, you know, Nick's just, this isn't, this isn't the best overall version of Nick. I think no. Nick's condition is great. But I like I, I believe what Milos says, his legs, the volume of the legs and... 
it really it kind of uh, highlights the length of the torso here, which can yeah. hurt him. Now, listen, you know, Clarita, I know he's not really in this discussion that we've had with the top four, but, I mean, listen, I give credit what credit's due, and we'll talk about him after, but, you know, I don't want to disregard that this guy's standing on yep. the end because, like, he, he holds, his, holds his own with, Absolutely. obviously, balance. But Rami, for sure, I believe this was a better version than the Olympia, but it just goes to show how improved, like, these guys are just coming, man, like, Samson and Andrew made so they're many just, improvements. They're just, I mean, look, look at you had Samson <laughs> and Rami back to back at the Olympia, where this was like he distanced himself here yeah. from Rami in comparisons. Yeah. But let's 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 give credit where credit's due. Rami was for sure improved, right? Yes. yes. Like the back looked everyone, better. I think all. I think Rami, Samson, and Andrew all improved. But you know, looking at this pose, guys, like Rami, just he just doesn't look as detailed. Yeah. It just to me, it just looks a little um, something's off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Compared to better genetically yeah. gifted okay. guys. I, I talked to um, Chad Sound, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> did he talk about it? The and bully. he says, okay, yeah, the bully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dominic, <right? laughs> so he, he goes, uh, yeah, he talked to uh, um, Big Rami, and Big Rami think that he was, you know, still too big. You know, so he was. I think yeah. that was the biggest he was ever on stage. Yeah, too big. And who uh, thought he was too big? Rami himself. He thought he was too yeah. heavy. Yeah, probably was too big. And uh, b- but that's big Rami. You go for that when uh, he was at Olympia and everybody's like he's flat, flat, flat. But here's a here's a question. You Let's know? say he was five pounds less. He would still look that. I, like but her. you know, but but guys, I I I appreciate the effort on. He's like, you know what? I've been coming down. Yep. I think going just mind blowing full was a good option for him here. Yeah, you know what? Because I don't know. Let's 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 talk. Let's be honest. Yeah. If he was better, would he have beat these guys? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't you see. Think so. I, I think you know. That that, I'm going to ask you a question. I, I'm going to flat out, okay? Because I predicted Nick Walker to win this early on, okay? Yeah. And and walking in that show, I thought Nick Walker would still defend. Right? He'd be good enough. What I saw Saturday night, he if he would have won, I wouldn't have been mad about it. But Nick Walker coming like he did at the Olympia or apparently what we saw at the Olympia versus this Samson, would he have won? I mean, you're a biased coach. You're going to say I'm biased no. coach. No, I still, look, uh, I said that after the Olympia. On which basis does Nick's physique beat uh, Samson's uh, on conditioning? And I gave you that. I'll give you that. But everything else included and considered, he shouldn't have, you know, even at Olympia. But at, when I was saying this after the Olympia, I'm biased coach, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about, all this stuff. No, I consider everything. I mean, I'm not uh, Andrew's coach, and I'm going to uh, have the same praise about Andrew because I love his physique and everything that, that he delivers and what he means to the sport. I mean, I'm excited now because it's hashtag bodybuilding. Now we have that. And uh, Nick Walker is still in very much conversation like you, I, I know, but, but he has to be let's, free. let's talk. Let's realistically, Nick Walker is a is a freak factor. Yes, Samson is a freak factor. Yeah, he's not. You're not looking at a guy he's like a lot bigger oh, than he, Nick. He, he's he is, what he is. He's bigger. He, but he's still. I would consider him a aesthetic freak. Does yes. that is this he's an like, aesthetic mass is monster? Is this a new like? Is this something we've never seen before in bodybuilding? I don't know if we've seen. Aesthetic freaks. Yeah, not many. Uh, I mean, there's, a bunch, the there's a bunch of potentials. Uh, right I mean, kind of. You no, could but say, there l- was like I'm saying in the past, like who's been maybe Tony six Freeman? feet? Yes, but yeah. like was he? He was rare. A considered a freak. Yeah, no, not really. But uh, when somebody has a 300 pounds or and a shredded ch- beef, and the chest yeah. is hanging, yeah. and like yeah. how do you? Like I told you, the chest was hitting me in the front row at the Olympia. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, here it was. It's just so apparent. I mean, he's so wide. And he has a Lee Haney chest. Think yeah. about that because he's definitely wider than probably Lee Haney was, right? Yeah. I mean, the guy, uh, yeah. how much did he weigh? Let's not bullshit. I'm not bullshitting, really. He was 
Tuesday morning, 297. That's tradition. We don't uh, step on the scale at all. Okay, what and do you I, think he was? Let's, what, if you could stage. guess to me. It was 290. 290. Yeah, yeah, easily. 290. Because, uh, look, again, we and did how not. how tall is he exactly? Six foot. I thought it, he was I taller for some reason. I'm six foot. He's taller. No, he said me. six foot. I, I, I put on your podcast, you remember, yeah. you know, on the comments, six two, and, this, and then oh. he corrected me. It's six foot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Andrew is six Andrew's two. Bu- Andrew's six one to six. So, two. so yeah. we're talking like you know. We look at Rami. He set the standard for ultimate mass, right? Yeah. Is I, he? I mean, Andrew out of the top four here is definitely the one that we thought walking into the show was like going to dominate in fullness and size. And I mean, this is not. So, did he sacrifice a little bit of size to gather Andrew, that condition, which yeah. was the biggest fear, right? Yeah, Andrew is and. Uh, Andrew cannot afford losing this if he goes against Samson. Yep. You know, so I said in your podcast before, and look, I'm a Samson's coach and his friend. And, I want, and when you ask me to compare a structure, I mean, uh, um, Andrew has a little bit better structure. He's a little bit wider. Clavicles are wider, right? So when you look at it, but he doesn't still have that muscle you know what, mass you know what it is? enough. He's, they haven't figured it out with him yet. He needs time yeah. with Andrew. They yeah. figured how to get him in crazy yeah. condition. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. He was so conditioned, it was beautiful. I told him after the show, this is a test. Mm -hmm. Your time is coming. Yes. And I, it's interesting. Because you got to think, Samson's just now coming to his own. Yeah. He's done a lot of shows. Samson a year ago was fourth place here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I watched a show, and honestly, I I didn't even really. And remember this, six months before that, he got third in, in Egypt. He lost behind Regan and Mo. And yeah, now yeah. look at him. Yeah, yeah. He's a front runner at the Olympia. So when I spoke yeah. to him yesterday, you know, I ran into him and he's like, Man, I'm just trying to take this all in and and I said, Well, just take something in. Like you are a real contender for the Mr. Olympia at this yeah. point. Real. Real. Yeah. So people wanna they can say whatever they want. I mean, look at this picture. <laughs> if you don't see it, hey, you know, I, I, told I, tell you, you? I told you I thought he should have got third at the Olympia. I, I said it before. I believe that. I said this all yes. along, but I'm biased coach, so that doesn't count. You okay. saying this, yeah. it, it no, I, brings I believe more that because of what you see the overall package yes. there. He just didn't have the conditioning at the Olympia. You know, and, and conditioning and, you know, can't be the only thing that matters. There yeah, has to be it other can things. Be. And yes. this is why uh, I also potentiate this. Like, okay, is this easier for me as a coach? When you need a little bit of dry, okay, uh, let's take a little bit more of these, right? Because that's what is expected. No, consider everything. Let's keep it healthy and, you know, very effective. This is it. So go a little bit more, a little bit more. So if I go a little bit more, his coach is going to go more, and you are going to do a little bit more. And where do we end? Yeah. So uh, the healthy combination of everything. Does uh, uh, Samson needs to be drier? Okay. He, uh, I think, dominated prejudging, but then I heard from a grapevine, maybe he's not winning, like, oh, shit. Yeah, and I so texted you, said he was out of top five, <laughs> and you about had a heart attack. No, yeah, this, this, <laughs> that I was mean, a joke, I, though. <laughs> yeah, but this, I would know that uh, it was yeah. uh, between the, those. But uh, I heard it might not be, and maybe we need to get a little bit tighter, and we get a little bit tighter for the finals, which you saw. You didn't see this on the stage. So this is uh, uh, prejudging. End up being that he was winning with the perfect score prejudging in the finals. Thank God. You That's know. why I told you, don't... St- don't stress that. How I can I not stress? You, know, you think I slept? Of course you did. Did you sleep when you got home? <laughs> yeah, of course. They okay, crashed. Good. But, uh, you know, okay, for you me. You want to go to the next yeah, pause? Let, yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing that you can see, I mean, everything Samson does on the stage is to perfection. Stage presence is of the chart. Confi- confidence. Look at that, boom. Okay, confidence, not arrogance, yeah. not trying to pretend to be, oh, yeah, 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 let's, you know, yeah, I got that. No, it's hit the pose and show. So here it is. Many this is a tough one because Nick and Rami have really, really good, good side. side chest. Well, Rami is flattered through the chest and arms are not that good. Look, I mean, you can see here now. He has the lower body crazy, hamstring, glutes, uh, quad bursting, but... Uh, uh, Look, overall thickness, you can see here Samson and Andrew, there is no contest. You know, mm-hmm. there is no contest. And Nick and uh, I don't know. Samson I think, is I real think, I think Nick could win this shot. That's my opinion. About yeah, it. many people. But look at it. Uh, focus on the chest. It's called side chest. 
Side chest. Focus on the chest and tell me that Nick can beat. Uh, I said, it's still close, From head so. to toe. I, I see what Jay's saying. Nick, that's yeah. a great yeah. shot for Nick. It, it's a good shot. It's a great shot. But where does he really beat him? Okay, tell me. Where does he beat him? Which, uh, which body no, part? I mean, Samson's First, obviously bigger dude, you know. It's a bigger dude and more aesthetic. Even in this, you know, judge aesthetics in the side chest. Okay? Then you can go into the size, fullness, thickness, and detail. Yes, Nick is great. And many people including Fuad, <laughs> so Samson's guy, said, like, okay, Nick got him in a, in a side pose. He said, Fuad, okay. I mean, you can make it. Look you at can the make, show. Yeah. Huh? You can, you can make the argument. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you, can't, you can't argue with someone. Up, it's that. That's, like, a, that's a tough. It's not that's, like he's running away with it. This is where Andrew might have sacrificed. Yes. Yeah. It much. looks like, I remember I said before, it seems like he pulls his... his it makes him look. No, nah, he's more just narrow. he's he's turning a little bit, and it's just making him a little thinned out from standing next mm-hmm. to these freaks, you know. Yeah, so. I mean, hamstring thickness uh, here is a pain. Yeah, yeah. F- first thing that uh, <laughs> stop there. Stop. Ah, shit. You love that yeah. pose, don't you? Yeah, I make him do every time. He he often forgets, but it's like, how can you not do this pose? Do do the how did you look at that? How how good does it get? I mean, look at this pose. If and this if this doesn't freak you out, going from the side to the back. I mean, this is punch at the, at the top of the side chest. Okay, uh, look at now just when they're moving. L- look at the size detail. Okay. Now, this is Nick's pose that we all know that he's just uh, freaky in the back of the pose. And if judges just go with the Nick, I have no problem. Okay. Aesthetically, boom, step there, there, step there. Okay. <laughs> Aesthetically, something is just beautiful, right? But they're going to say Nick is a little bit harder. Okay. I'd give More that pose, I would give that pose to Nick, though. Yeah, I would too. I, yeah. I have no problem. He's got. It's, he's just got the density. I know. You know so Rami looks good there too, mm-hmm. though. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looking at this, okay, we we knew Samson. We talked about his back still needed to improve. Mm-hmm. To improved. What's the focus between now yeah. and and the fall? Back. Back, 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 back. You know, of course, anybody is going to advise me. Uh, don't bring more size. You don't need more size. Size always, yeah. right? Size is not going to hurt you in uh, all the right places. His waist is smaller than that of the Olympia. I mean, this is, you know, how they always accuse me, point finger, oh, yeah, insulin, insulin. Yeah, we did insulin three days a week, all the way through, okay? Before and after training, so what the hell? And uh, that's not it. But, uh, you know, overall, to win Mr. Olympia, you're going to have to take it away. Okay, and uh, Hadi got a little bit bigger, and Hadi's going to still, you know, with that formula. You see, there is conditioning alone. Hadi last year was better than, uh, I mean, 2021 was better than 2022, right? Yeah. We all said that. I think that's because I stood backstage for so long, too. That's why. But it doesn't matter. We don't consider this. We consider what do we see on the stage. And I know that Hani Ramba was told, you know, get him a little bit bigger. And you can sacrifice a little bit conditioning for that fullness and appearance of a yeah. bigger, thicker, wider. Okay, so th- this is how it is. For me as a coach now, right, uh, I got the first place uh, across the board against the third uh, guy in the world, right? And uh, Andrew Jack, that is an uh, up-and-comer that can win Mr. Olympia, right? And former two times Mr. Olympia. And, so, uh, and the reigning 212. Yeah, Mr. Olympia 212. On the same so stage. it is. I think that uh, Samson's look is appreciated very much, and he's going to be a top contender for the Olympia. Of course. What kind of improvements? Yeah, can we get? The, maybe he didn't. Fuad is always on, ca- on his case for this uh, backdoor biceps doesn't open completely. You know, maybe he can do a little bit more. I love it. It's just okay if you lose it. He he's going to probably lose that post to the uh, Derek Lansford. <laughs> you know, and I think everybody loses to Derek Lansford yeah. in that pose. And so be it. I mean. Hamstring glutes, they will always say, oh, hamstring glutes, you need tighter, drier, tighter, drier. This is tight and dry. Yeah. He just doesn't have a striated glutes. And uh, what uh, Andrew Jack was going for, okay, drier and drier and leaner and leaner, and you lose that pop. And it's not, wor- it's not worth it. Yeah, it's this is, for me, most definitely spot on. 
and uh, Nick's right arms in that rear double, huh? It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, everything. Even his leg look humongous. Yeah, the, the cords, yeah. his hamstrings. I mean, yeah, that yeah, looks that's crazy. Nick's, Nick's improved a lot, man. The last couple of years, a look, lot. Uh, okay, Even his see. lat spreads yeah. improved a lot. Nick Walker. It is. It is. I, I, I'm going to give him that. And here, when you cannot see the uh, differential upper body, lower body, you see, now his upper body is not lengthy because uh, the opposing triangles are up. So now his legs doesn't look mm -hmm. don't look short, mm -hmm. and they look huge. So here is balanced and wider Nick Walker. And what I want to say is uh, I, I met Nick's mom, Tracy, and dad, uh, Lou. <laughs> and yeah. They were on my case. Great like, why, why, yeah, great people. Why are you talking better? And I just have my opinion. So Nick Walker can win Olympia by all means. You go playing your card. You know, you're not going to over aesthetic anybody, but you're going to overpower them. And he, for me, he needs to go for that. You know, you're a freak, you're a mutant. Be a freak. Be a freak. Be a mutant. Yeah. I mean, you're always conditioned. You know, so that's, that's a danger. Are they going to judge him with previous conditioning if he shows up a little bit fuller and less conditioned? Oh, you were more conditioned. So that's that enigma. But uh, uh, for Nick Walker, yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, what happened to uh, Olympia as a one from the back? Yeah. Because Derek yeah. Lunsford was yeah. better from the back last year. and Yeah, but H Hadi was very competitive in the back. He was, but... Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they used to say I, the I, guy I think that... They always say, I always thought it was if it was equal or everywhere else, the back is where it was going to be decided because a lot of people don't train their back the same because they can't see it. Yeah. But there's I a lot mean, of these listen, guys are... Listen, we are, we are all fans of the sport, the former bodybuilders and all this stuff. We are not the judges. You know, let's clarify this. Judges know specifically what they look for. Uh, I mean, that's why of course. one day, hopefully, if Steve is here, it would be great to have him. On oh, that. we'll have him on for sure. Yeah, I mean, I would love to hear. Because he analyzes everything, scans it in microsecond, and he knows. Okay, so for me, there was uh, a... <laughs> I, I, I went to Steve uh, after the prejudging and said, okay, so what? You know, how he's like, leave him alone. <laughs> 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 you know, don't do nothing. Okay, so for me, that was, uh, that was uh, you know, they like what they how saw. How did that make you feel? Yeah, so I, uh, it made me very comfortable, right? You know, this is exactly how I saw it. So let's talk I about the it. back here. Yeah. Back shot. Uh, okay. Uh, I know that Samson has a crazy, crazy hamstring, right? Uh, great calves, everything else. Uh, here on this picture in NVIDIA, can possibly Nick overtake him? What I said last time, I don't like his wide stance and everything else, but it's effective. It's effective. He looks freaky. I got to give it to him. So if he gets there, maybe. Uh, upper body is very comparable. I mean, the shoulders are thicker uh, on uh, uh, Samson. Uh, but he can go either way. If you go with a Nick again, uh, I'll give it to you. But this is not slam dunk victory. No. It's so obvious. This is a, this this is a super competitive shot. Super competitive shot, yeah. And I, I love uh, Andrew. Uh, he still, you said that he has a striated glutes. You saw the pictures and all that stuff. Yeah. It's still not striated. And the hamstring is not so detailed. You know, so uh, I think he would still lose to uh, Nick and Samson. And uh, Rami is Rami, but you see, there's not enough detail. Yeah. And uh, there's not the striation uh, on the glutes like he was for the Olympia. On Olympia, he was very confident. I would probably give this shot to Nick. Very, very, very close, though. Like him and Samson, then probably Andrew in yeah. third. And then probably Clarita and then Rami. Yeah, Clar Clarita actually looks much wider than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in I know, it just, especially. I think, I don't know. Just from the head to the toe, I, th I would give this to Nick, but that's, but I'm not a judge, so don't listen to me. You're not. I don't want to be a judge. I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> I'm a bias coach. Okay, just These look transitions at, matter too, though. Look Where were you sitting for this, Milos? I was in your seat. Okay. So you know exactly. Right there. Boom. Okay. Did he had my seat for real? For prejudging, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Because okay. you weren't there. You said so you're not coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, you weren't, weren't going to be there, so I just told Milos, <laughs> come okay. sit up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah shit. You know? Neil, no, actually, Milos said, hey, can, can my friend sit up? And I said, no, you can. Yeah, yeah. So, so, <laughs> so okay. I brought Milos up there. Yeah, I, first, because I didn't know where I was sitting. Yeah. By the time I came there, like, I can't see anything from, from that spot. You know, especially if I'm going to commentate and I'm going to do yeah. all that stuff, 
how can I look at the screen and make the judgment? Those screens you know? are actually really good. It was pretty good, really but you know, it's everyone really looks good on the yeah. screen, though, right? You, know, you can you can stay home and watch on the screen if you if that's what you want. I wanted to see live. So here, this pose. So they say uh, Nick wins this pose. A lot okay. of detail on Nick, bro. It's a lot of detail, but first let's look at Clarita the, too. Yeah. yeah, but look at Clarita's uh, chest, okay. And look at Samson's chest. He, he hits, you know, Samson does a shot a lot like I did it. Yeah. <laughs> because he said, I couldn't yeah, pull that listen, shoulder back. He, he, he was doing that. Uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, trying to tell him this. And I said, oh, I mean, I should have long arms. I said, do the Jay Cutler. But raise the, raise yeah, the shoulder. Raise the shoulder. <laughs> it makes the tricep look bigger, you yeah. know. You push the, yeah. So you push the tricep against the lat because your lats are so big yeah. and there you got yeah. it. But That's what Jim Mannion did. You know, did you see yeah. Jim Mannion's picture? Yeah, in, uh, crazy. He's better than you. Yeah. He would have beat you at the he beat Niagara me. Falls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, Jim, well, God said damn. He says, it's all in the <laughs> angles. I said, why didn't you show me those angles? You know, God damn. He has Look a, how big Rammy yeah. is, guys. <laughs> Look at his leg from the side, big Rammy. <laughs> leg from the side, yes. But unbelievable, right? Okay, now now I'll cover the legs. Look at the I know, body. I know, I know, I know. But, not, but look at the leg. I, I think that... Look at the leg, Milos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I, come I on. It is, is that the biggest I don't side leg ever? <laughs> it has to yeah, be. Yeah, he has to be. I mean, come on. Look at look at look at him, and then put your eyes back to Clarita. <laughs> I mean, dude. But it is pretty good. But, uh, but, but look at okay. how big Ron. So is. here is where where Andrew Jack can see that the, from the side, his legs look lengthy. Right. I, th I think that was the. I that, think that's was just, yeah. That's the thing. He just he just hit the. Okay. We'd get it there. You could see the legs. But you see, Samson just going into the pose at any any moment you can freeze. Now listen, man, if, if Rami's look at that, look if at Rami's that. pec and his midsection was trimmed down here, this would be the most incredible side chest uh, side tricep of all time. Look at the look at the tricep, ah, flat chest. Look at that. I know. You, you gotta you gotta see it. Look at the uh, Samson fullness of the of chest course, and look yeah. at the big round. I know. And we're talking about uh, I can you know, see big components. See, uh, okay, and for me. Again, nobody's giving side uh, triceps to uh, Samson. And again, it's his bias coach. Is, uh, are you guys blind? I mean, he's got the full packs. I am. Huh? He's got the full packs. Yeah, he does. Full packs, aesthetics, shape, size, thickness. What else do you want? Uh, look, uh, everything is happening in element. He will squeeze the glutes. You can see the details. You know, I, I think this is a super strong pose for uh, mm. Samson. And he beat Nick in. In my opinion, some people would give it to Nick. Okay, you know, on the freak factor, you guys uh, want to just uh, you know judge it that way. Okay, I, I don't think so. Okay. You know, for a guy though that was criticized to have such a wide waist, Nick Walker, he sure as hell can hide this in a yes, lot of poses. Yeah. You know, but here abs. He didn't do abs as good as he could. I've seen. Yeah, I know uh, we've seen better, right? Much better, yeah. yeah. So there's uh, some kind of. This is a really bad position for his ab shot. Ab, legs, everything. The legs I mean, locked out like that yeah, and yeah. just not enough, like. Yeah. Andrew's abs uh, <laughs> shows over. You yeah. know, this, you know, probably. Probably the best. <laughs> look, at, look at that picture of Arnold yeah. right there. Upper body. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's probably aiming there for a... Uh, for, uh, uh, look at Samson here. Okay. <laughs> for um, Andrew. <coughs> Most muscular. Most muscular. Boom. Uh, again... Man, and the Andrew's got a lot of detail in this shot. I mean, with the but it's yeah, not but the thickness of Not Samson, thickness. Look yeah. at the legs. Yeah, you know, look, you know. Still, for me, uh, Samson wins this again. Mm -hmm. It's most muscular pose, but aesthetic part of a most muscular, you know, goes to Samson. Yeah, I just have a little bit more weight now behind saying this because otherwise I would be biased coach. Now, all the judges saw the same way, and there was like no question he he won by a perfect score. All right, shout out to who for this uh, high def. Yeah, the Arnold. Arnold people gave him. Arnold people. Us. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, this first. Did Chris time. send this to you? Or? Yeah, Chris did. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Nichols. Thank you Chris so Nichols much for this. Us. Yeah, and, and so thank then you very okay, much, Chris. thank you, Chris. Yeah. So now uh, let's talk about the final show. The final show. I think that uh, um, Nick, you said improved. For me, it looks kind of the same. 
Uh, I think the Samson tightened up a little bit more because we just didn't yeah. want to take a chance. Andrew was great, but I think he lost even a I little bit yeah. more. Yeah, I think he looked better prejudging. Than prejudging, yeah, because Andrew is six foot two and. Uh, and uh, To contest these two, I thought Nick was a little fuller on Saturday maybe, night. Maybe, you but see, I don't think it was going to be enough. Because okay, now the thing that I was talking about, uh, posing, posing, posing. Okay, <laughs> I have to touch the subject. So Andrew Jack won posing uh, best poser award. Mm -hmm. Okay, as a routine, you see, this is what I'm trying to. The winner of the uh, third round posing round and the best poser are two different things. Yeah. They choose best poser for entertainment value. They, they yep. liked it and okay. But who showed more physique in this round? Samson did the job that I was shocked. I didn't know his routine. I, I, I never even asked him because I know he's he, a great poser. Though. He does it better than I ever did. Yep. You know, and what he did, I was just like <laughs> floored. Variety of poses that he did, uh, the sequences, transitions. It was a slam dunk. He showed like. 30 great poses. So he showed more. And what I was saying before to uh, Bob Chikrila, oh, they're not judging. And he says, they're judging. I might even consider maybe they're judging, actually. Maybe now they're, they're paying a little bit more attention. Uh, poses other than mandatory, that they show the physique that they show in this round, may be accounted for. I know that I want to, you know, put the score in each round. Hey, if somebody is already winning, right? and you don't think that uh, this posing round should change, just repeat the scores. You know, you don't think that's changed. But uh, that uh, value of, oh, I have a chance to present my physique a little bit differently, not this, and maybe judges are going to like it. And now the other guys can lose because they didn't put the effort into finding all the other poses and make the routine. Again, routine is not choreography and entertainment and, you know, Emotional value, content, uh, earth shattering, you know, moving like a robot. It is really about presenting a physique. So I, I was delighted with the judging and uh, maybe. You're delighted because you know, your guy won. Yeah, because then, <laughs> uh, then I, can, I can consider that they are considering everything. You know, before, like I said, they, you didn't consider what he showed here. You didn't consider the shape. You didn't consider that. If you but did I, consider I, I, it, it would I, be different. I think Samson just getting better and better and better and better. Yeah. And now he's just came to his own. Yeah. You know, so just taking time. But you taking guys have finally found that, that, that mixture of conditioning, fullness, everything at once. You finally got that. And hey, look, what it, look what it did. We did like eight shows already. Yeah. You know, for, but, you know, but again, but, but, <laughs> but he's getting better yeah. along the way. Yeah, the thing is that uh, um, when he started competing... Uh, I got him seven weeks out, and then uh, he was going to just do two shows, and uh, I told him, no, you're in shape, just keep doing, he did like five shows, and then he came to Arnold Classic in Boston, so that's seven, and then uh, uh, Olympia eight, this is like ninth show in um, less than a year and a half. So you're going to give him a break now? Yeah, he's, he's taking a break, but... Uh, uh, he was hungry before, now he's even hungrier, I mean, uh, beating... The guy that was third at Olympia is a huge statement, you know, so it's not exactly, if people always think that, oh, just because, you know, he took his spot. No, at any given day, any, oh, any of those guys can flip-flop flip -flop like this. And, uh, uh, you when know, we, when we saw Samson downstairs, I said, take your wife on a little vacation. Cause yeah. she's been, she's been doing oh, all this with you. Sam Samson's getting married on Saturday. Oh, well, well, there you go. Yeah. They're getting married on Saturday. So. Oh, I well, congratulations. So it's going to be a honeymoon. Fair. <laughs> she deserves it. Yeah, she, she deserves it. Marlena is unbelievable. Hopefully she yeah. doesn't have to put up with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marlena and I are a team. We are good. We know how to strategize. Well, congratulations to them. Yes. Yep. Yeah, congratulations. Let me throw a wrench in here. So if Hottie or De uh, Derek Lunsford entered this contest, where would, where would it, what would wow. have happened here? Uh, I mean, you have some shorter stature guys mm -hmm. compared to you know, two of the taller guys, and then you have Nick Walker in that mix. I mean, if this lands the top five for the Olympia, what a hell of a lineup, huh? Actually, that's, you know, that you said this three plus these two should I be I believe top they five. will be. Yeah, that's your top five. That's how I see it. I don't, and I know, I don't think it would have mattered. I just, I think, I said this before, 
there's going to be a large guy that comes in that overwhelms, that has shape, has everything. That's what it's going to take to beat these small guys. I know, guys but the Sadi Chupin's crazy condition. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy condition. Go against and completeness. The Sam- and yeah. Samson. Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're talking about some chump. You know what I'm saying? Samson would be right. I mean, they'd, they'd be I, circling. So, but, but where would Derek end up? That's the question because, you know, Derek is just, like, astounding right now, yes. right? Like, he looks in crazy for offseason. Have you seen him? Uh, yeah, so like much, Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, bigger, thicker. I mean, even more if, pronounced. If, Derek, if, like, if his legs improve, I mean, mm-hmm. is he's a real threat factor? Yeah, he was showing me the legs, and they improved. He was still riding the horse, but oh well. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you he's know. gonna be mad at that. Dude. No, he's not. He's, he's cool. gonna stop saying that. <laughs> no, never. As long as he rides, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna say rodeo, bonanza. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What <laughs> did you, what, besides all that, what did you think of the expo? Did you walk around? Much? Yeah, it was great. I, I, I didn't go the, uh, for a long time like you did. I've seen some of the video footage. That, uh, it was like <laughs> thousands of people. Jesus Christ, yeah. You know what it was? Jay only did one appearance. Uh-huh. He did at Celsius, and David Bay came over, and you know he, we've been all going to expos for a long time, and he just said, I've never seen a line like that ever. Yeah, at any expo for an, it. Yeah, he could have stayed there for ten hey, hours. Hey, listen, uh, you know, 2011, I, I left the states and I was in Europe, and at one of the shows, I mean, in Europe, you were there, and uh, I wanted to go there with my ex to, you know, possibly say hello to Jane, because that a line was like a mile long. Like, oh shit, you know. So as long, as much as I want to be the average person, I say, ah, this is going to take two hours to get there. So. I was uh, trying to catch, you know, uh, Jay, and he looked at it and he told me, uh, come and take a picture. This oh, it's a he, perfect segue for what I was talking about earlier. His popularity is, you know, off the chart, everywhere. I'm going to say something here, and they, they said I wasn't going to say it before. Hmm? One of my biggest pet peeves when you go to expos, hmm? if you're friends with someone who is famous, and they got a long line, and you go stand off to the side, I'm not pointing the finger at you because you just said it like this, and you go up there and take time away from the fans, you're an asshole. No, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. But I see this all the time where people will go there and they will cut the line Yeah. and they'll make sure to get a picture with someone. They know this person. They speak to them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That two hours is for the minimal amount of fans. On the regular basis, that's now two different perspectives. Okay, so... I haven't seen Jay for. I'm not talking you about know, you, no. but yeah. I, no example yeah. because I yeah, yeah that's example that you just you were in Europe and you couldn't come. Yeah, back I'm in to Europe, that's yeah, totally different. And uh, I could I could be there, and then he finds out I was at the same show. I didn't even stop by to say hello. Yeah. You know, it's kind of no. You know. That's the, what I mean is, yeah. I will see people mm-hmm. every single show. The same people will do this, and they'll cut in front of fans, and twenty or thirty fans can't because they'll yeah. stand on stage and talk for. Two minutes. I'm going to give you this example. Maybe I said it before, but this is now to the strength of what you're saying. 99 Honor Classic, my last Honor Classic. Did Jay beat me? Because I always was, <laughs> when I beat you, but no. At that show that you beat me, you were very lucky. Uh, I was signing photos, and then uh, I seen a line, and uh, there's Lee Haney over there. Lee Haney was in the, my line, and I was like signaling you, uh, come. No. He waited, like you know, 15 minutes to get and uh, say hello and talk a little bit like, Jesus Christ. So on that, what you were saying, he didn't want to... The line probably wasn't that long. No, no. You yeah. <laughs> 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 love how he put that in there? Yeah. He waited 15 minutes. Hey. No, he bring yeah. right to the front. Yeah, I exaggerated. <laughs> 15 minutes, maybe there was two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you, don't, you, don't, you know what I mean? For me, it gets yeah. frustrating because yeah. I'll see someone sitting there standing in line. What a joke and I'll I see, am, huh? and I'll, <laughs> Yeah, you're a realist. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll see someone come over that they, we see them all the time. Oh, I want to get a picture with them. I'm like, you have 40 pictures with them in last year. Yeah, I know. Stop. I know. Go yeah. see him at the hotel. You have his phone number. See yeah. him at the restaurant later. No, but it's, especially yeah. if they strike the long conversation, you know, then, yes. oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Yeah, but uh, I see that a lot. It's always something that's bothered me. Uh, expo uh, though, but uh, the expo was good. The expo was. Yeah, really, I had an amazing. Really I had an amazing. I got to spend a lot of time with Ronnie Coleman. Mm. I mean, obviously, I didn't even see him. You didn't see him. No, I saw him on the stage. Yeah, only. of course, I, yeah. You know what? Ronnie is like extremely talkative yeah. lately at these 
like, because you did two seminars with them, kind yeah, of. Yeah. A little, one meet and greet. And then they did a, a seminar on the main stage. And I didn't get to go out in front and see it much. But from what David based, there was the videos and pictures. There had to have been 5,000 people standing around it. Mm. It was ridiculous. Yeah. But, so, again, not to kiss your ass. Uh, Jay Cutler, yeah. He, he is known for remembering people, fans from goddamn Afghanistan with the mm -hmm. strange name, and he would remember the name and uh, who does that? Yeah, so had a, had something. Well, you just learned how to pay, well, pronounce your name recently. Yeah, recently, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but you know how it is. Everyone else gets you know it what wrong though, anyway. You know what, though, these, these meet and greets, a lot of the, the younger people coming up don't understand how important they are for the longevity. Yeah. Because someone new could come up and become popular now and do very minimal because they say, I have a big social media following, I can reach them. There's a huge difference between a post mm. and you shaking someone's yeah. hand and spending that little bit of time with them. Him and Ronnie have been doing it for two decades. And this is why they have fans all over the world. We, we can, we can, you could take Jay to any airport in the world and somebody's going to stop him. Of course. And some of the more popular guys nowadays, that wouldn't happen. But that, 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 20 years of that all over the world. It matters when you shake someone's hand and you spend a little time, but he only got to do one public appearance. Hey, time. one time in Rome, somebody stopped me and say, you know, in the airport, you know, take a picture. <laughs> one time in 20 years. It was huh? a relative. It was a <laughs> yes. setup. Yeah. That was the neighbor. Set it up. Hey, come over here and take a picture yeah. with me and make me look famous. Yeah. But anyway, so you guys are going to convince me that when I see this footage, I'm not going to believe that um, Samson won. He won this show. How exciting for you, though, is this, um, this outcome? I mean, <sighs> you've been kind of, it's been on deck for a minute, but. You know, you just learn to be patient and uh, quality rises to the top. He's the best combination of everything. Now, uh, you were saying, can he beat Hadi and Derek? Yes. Uh, would this conditioning and size beat uh, their Olympia. You have to see them next to each other. When I ask you, what do you think? You say, let me see them line up. Okay, you, so you wanted to see them line so, up. So what I told Samson, and we, like I said, we spoke mm -hmm. yesterday. I think now you figured the formula, right? So now it just works on getting that skin a little thinner yeah. as you progress, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's really, we talk about, you know, we have to work with our own strengths. And you said, listen, his strength is not trying to be someone else and say, well, his condition needs to max, match yeah. so-and-so. I mean, we're talking about, let's talk about from behind, like Derek Lunsford with the, I mean, you see him right now off season with the strided glutes, right? Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. But if that skin can just get a little it's thinner thin. that yeah. you get with progression in time. And I told Samson, I said, all you need to do is go to the gym. Yeah. You don't need to go in the gym and think, oh, I really need to go at this or I need to go at that. It's almost just... It's, it's but it's it's just routine now yeah. and i said you're gonna have days where you're gonna train harder and you're gonna have days that you train a little like easier you have to listen to your body you're in that click period and there's a certain click period that people go through mm -hmm. and i experienced this i always said in my late 20s i feel that his peak is a little um it's a little delayed Mm. because of the experience and you've seen this crazy growth over the last year right mm. but now of course there's a lot of fresh muscle he put on a lot of fullness now it's just refinement yeah. of the skin just thinning down a little bit better nothing else it's not like oh i'm targeting yes can his back improve everything can improve yeah. there's no question the quads are going to improve the calves will improve everything will right yeah. the biceps i mean do you work on bigger bicep peaks? It's all about just routine, about training, and when you st and just stand them next to each other. Yeah. But how does it feel to be like you're that much closer to having He's an a Olymp contender, a, a, like a legit Olympia champion? If yeah. you ever thought on your resume, yeah. hey, he has one Olympia champion. He <laughs> talks about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, it, no. this doesn't matter to me. I, I'm really, um, I know, but I know you. You yeah. vicariously live through this oh of course because you I were was on never, the stage with him you were never able to peak at that level yeah yeah right or never had that belief here you are yeah. a guy that you say i didn't believe in myself but yeah i believe in you samson like how how can you now mm -hmm. use your mental aspect that you lacked 
when you yeah. were competing to, yeah. to advise him, believe, believe, believe that you can win this. Because he has to go into his Olympia. And I told him straight out yesterday, I said, he has to believe you yes. need to think. You're, you're not going for second or third anymore. Yeah. You're going to win this yeah. contest. That's, that's what we're shooting so for, So I of hope course. you're telling him the same thing. Exactly. I said this in front of Fuad also. Look, when I was competing, I couldn't fool myself that I'm going to beat all these guys. Flex, Sean, Kevin, Dorian, Nasser, Chris. You know, I'm a realist. I just don't have what it takes to beat those guys. But Samson, if I'm saying, it's so clear that he's there already. You know, so he can do it. And uh, he's super motivated. I mean, listen, you can imagine what this victory means to him. Even for confidence level, if you rewatch, you, you didn't see the prejudging. He was so confident on stage. There was most perfect presentation of what I want, stage presence of, hey, I respect everyone. I like my chances and let me show you what I got. And that's exactly what he did. There was not a single moment that anybody can take a picture. Ah, look at that. They relaxed the, drop the shoulders, relax the stomach, you know, pff, completely relax. He was spot on. And uh, now it's uh, strategize. What do we do? You say always, play to your strengths. Yes, I agree. Condition, condition, condition. Since Olympia, that's, I got like hate mail and all this stuff, like all these wise ass, ass guys, like, oh, he's fat, he's not conditioned, you know, he can be compared. Do you think that I put him on zero carbs and uh, let's just get him super lean? He was on high carbs. You know, since Olympia until now, pretty much. We dropped a few days on 200, okay? So, as a coach, oh, should I go deeper? Oh, we're not, no, I'm watching what's happening. I love what I'm seeing. Keep going. I mean, uh, you know, uh, as people know, I, I never had a secret, so I would tell you anything you want to know. He was not on the low carbs. He didn't suffer. If you ask him, he didn't suffer through the dieting. We love what we are seeing, okay? Are we going to suffer a little bit more because now he's going to go for against the uh, Hadi Chupan. There is slice and dice and all that stuff. Yeah, probably we have to maybe improve a little bit, like you said, thinner skin, a little bit leaner. I mean, to get thinner skin, you have to burn that little bit subcutaneous fat. So, you you know, we're going to probably have to do that. Is there a one exercise that you're going to focus on ideally to improve his back, maybe create... You more know, taper I, I, or I more chan thickness. I change his back, so he's doing everything. He's doing a pullovers. He's doing a rose. So you think of, so? If I was yeah. to ask you, looking at his physique, mm -hmm. and you nitpicking and saying, "Okay, I, I need, I want to incorporate <coughs> a few more of this or that," what would you say that it would be? You see, like Dorian did, uh, like a pullover machine, pullover, and then uh, rose pullover. Is and it a pull Nautilus pullover, or is it like whatever he uh, has? To work I know, with? whatever he has, yeah. Like anyway. does dumbbells work the same? Yeah, way? we did in the, in the Dragon's Lair. Yeah, we yeah. don't have a pullover machine. We did the yeah. So you want to open up, expand the rib cage, right? And then what else? Then what was the other thing you said? So pullovers and what? Pullover and rows, pullover and pull downs. And know, how so is the repetition range that you're focusing on? Ten, twelve. We're not going anything. Heavy. You're doing Look. giant sets, though. Yeah, we, we did. So we did a lot of giant sets. So this is a like super set form. Look, the only thing that can stop him is an injury. So if I would go balls to the wall, let's go heavy, let's put the deadlifts and expand his midsection, and all that. No, everything that is does working he, does now. Does he deadlift? No. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it's some, always pa always some partial deadlifts here and there. Always a big question yeah. I get is, do I think that deadlifts are beneficial for bodybuilders? You know, Everyone has their opinions, right? Everybody has I definitely opinions. thickened my waist doing uh, yeah. You're gonna heavy, thicken your heavy waist. deadlifts. And I did, the, yeah. you know what really thickened me? The one arm dumbbell rows with the twist. Mm. It thickened my obliques, you know? Because I used to get really, when I used to get, like I used to roll the 200 pound dumbbells. And after the, the next day, my, my uh, obliques, obliques would be sore. Yeah. So I should have known better, right? See? That's where a coach is. Yeah. Like, um, I didn't have anyone really dictating my training until, you know, Hani really stepped in. Because Chris, you know, he didn't really, he just like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. He didn't really want to try to overdo that, where I feel that you're a little more in-depth with, I mean, as yeah. far as like nutrition and supplementation, yeah. and that's like over-the-counter supplements even, right? I mean, you're just crazy with like what you use in a day. Right? <laughs> Over the counter. Yes. Yeah, like those ones there. <laughs> this is. No, not know. that. No, not <laughs> that. No, 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 no. I bought it at a store, $3.99. Look, I $3 mean, I, I, let, let me just ask you so, intra workout, 
because yeah. I get a lot of questions yeah. about this. Do you really believe, and this will be great for our viewers on okay. here, our listeners. Yes. Thank you for how the in, How important is intra-workout nutrition? Now, and shout out to Jim, to yeah. also, by the way. Yeah. We're going to come up uh, soon with the uh, intra-workout. So, so here is a perfect example. And Jay, you know so much about it. You have a supplement store and everything. And you're a bodybuilder forever and ever. What I keep saying, and people are listening, but they don't hear me. Okay, right now we are doing nothing. 10% of the blood is in the muscle. Now when we train, chest, whatever, we're going to put 60-70% of the blood exactly in this muscle. What are we going to do? Flies, presses, muscle contraction, opens up the cells, and cells are ready for the uptake of whatever is in the blood. Now if in the blood is nothing, you're sending empty airplane to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the point? Or if you saturate with the, uh, with the passengers, I saturate uh, the blood with all the predigested elemental nutrients that make a difference. They're anabolic, anti-catabolic, fat burning, performance enhancing, anything. So it's there in the blood. Now, if you trigger insulin release, either by eating carbs or taking my <laughs> exogenous insulin, doesn't matter, insulin coming in the blood, Okay, takes everything that is in the blood out to the first available cells and tissues. And for people that are against using insulin to your advantage, uh, yeah, when it's blood is not in the muscle, then it's disadvantaged. It can, it can do something damage. But when it's in a, in a uh, muscle, when you're contracting, then insulin is your so best it's, friend. So it's, it's a great transport time is what you're saying. It's a nailing it in exactly where you want it. Okay, but give me the top three nutrients or supplement uh, ingredients you feel would be necessary. Essential for amino that. acids okay. is a must. Okay, to uh, complete protein synthesis, okay. you have to have uh, all the essentials, not just BCAs. There are three out of eight or nine if you consider histidine. So that's for sure. First. Okay. Uh, creatine. Absolutely. Positively. Citrulline and betalanine. Absolutely. So combination positively. of blood flow. Blood flow, nitric oxide, vasodilatation. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want? I, okay. It's already, uh, I call it hyperemia advantage. Hyperemia. So that's four. Blood that's four areas. really, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's Four of the most basics on that makes a difference. And then you add some, maybe some carbohydrates as a Carbohydrates, absolutely. So now like carbohydrates. Carb cluster, cluster or Okay, so can we dextrose? touch that, that subject? Okay, so what, why would that be beneficial? Uh, I, I want to ask you, because I'm, I'm sure that you uh, led through the research and what is on the internet. Uh, before there was a Vitargo, high molecular weight glucose polymer, a bit favorable. It's the fastest, yeah, it's the fastest. Okay, so, so hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a question. What is dextrose? Dextrose is exactly glucose. Mm -hmm. It's one molecule, monosaccharide. It's there. Exactly. The breakdown is going to be What you easier. take? No, it, it doesn't need to. It is what it is. So you take dextrose. That's a glucose. It doesn't need to be broken down. But your body is going to just go use it's it. It's going to take it yeah. right away. Yes. So I'm irritated, and I fall for that. I made a two articles in the Flex magazine about Vitargo or about high molecular weight glucose polymers, and this is favorable. What are you going to get from any of those? Maltodextrin, cyclic dextrin, Vitargo, amylose, amylopectin, any of those? It boils down, you're going to get this glucose molecule. So how can taking a, a cyclic dextrin be faster than actual dextrose? How? It's impossible, right? This is what you're aiming for. You, you break your protein into amino acids, and then you get the arginine, ornithine, mm -hmm. lysine, da, da, da. Carbohydrates breaks down into the glucose. Well, dextrose is the glucose. It's, it's the same. He doesn't take an intra, so have you used an intra ever? I, throughout, throughout my life, I have. I've just, I'm just not a, I'm not a big uh, supplement. I, I just know when I, when I, when I use I supplementation while I train, especially when I'm hard training, mm -hmm. I have a much better workout, to be honest. Of course. Yeah. Muscle needs glucose for contraction. You're maintaining the glucose throughout the workout by sipping, sipping, sipping. So what sipping, if I had a candy bar before I trained? Candy bar is, uh, you know, it's before. It's just in and out. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it's, and that's going to go through you quick, right? Yeah, but you want something that doesn't need to go to the uh, GI, uh, yeah. the digestive tract, to be, yeah. to it's take blood into the stomach. immediately. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want that. 
I mean, it, it works 100%. I've been talking about this for 30 years, people listening, and they still ignore it. Yeah, okay, think, ignore it. Milos needs to be your coach for your fit for 50. No, but I just, I <laughs> wanted to touch on this because yeah, we yeah. get a lot of questions, and we we're do. trying to get on and answer a few because yeah. people value your advice. They love you on the podcast. I mean, even our official people, I had someone text me last night. I'll yeah. tell you off camera, but, yeah. like, they love when you come on here and we debate and we go back yeah. and forth. and yeah. Bias coach, makes, bias coach. No, what makes us great is, like, <laughs> We don't always agree, but one thing I will yeah. agree, like you have a great scientific approach yeah. to, and I wanted to ask about, you know, natural supplementation. I'm not talking about anything yeah. anabolic or anything like that. Um, I just want to talk about like how our normal viewers, listeners uh, can really just benefit from their workouts the most. So I hope they get something out of that. From this also. You know, another thing now that you touch the subject, uh, do we want to, maximize everything right so a lot of us uh, like he he just said oh i don't take it well you don't want to maximize that's the thing but uh, for us i mean he was going against ronnie coleman right yep. and you think he wanted to eat all this protein at the time and no, so i was many using calories? muscle tech supplements at the time yeah but you did everything to maximize not yeah. to compromise a lot of people now even listening to this oh uh, I'm good, like Melvin Anthony before. Oh, yeah, I was good even doing this, sub-maximal. Imagine what would be if you did maximal, right? So I'm just uh, <laughs> telling you, your career is not going to be that long. Every single day I have to count. It's not like you don't count the days. Make them count. So if, if you can, that's why I do, did the journals. I had to check my protein intake, carbs and calories and my workouts at the end of the day. Good day. Good week, good month. I That's did the same goes. thing. I journaled. Exactly. I would write like topic of like, oh, I felt good. This didn't work, mm -hmm. and I was tired today, or yeah. I did too many other activities. It didn't make my workout as as good. It was kind of a noted in there. Yeah, you were always a little bit more business oriented, so I can only imagine. You know, you not as detailed as what you're yeah. doing with your athletes now, but you know, it's it's. I know it's a huge plus yeah. for you to now have one of your guys contending. If Jay does yeah. get fit for 50, I'll do it with him. Yeah, 50, 50. yeah, he's doing it. You were 245, you jumped to 275. That's because you know, I was down eating once Take the box. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was eating once a day. What, I, what else do we need to cover? Is that going to well, wrap it? Or? But, but yeah, just one, one more, uh, a couple of things that you open up with it. So now we have uh, Andrew Jack, Samson, right? The big guys. We have a... I sound knocked out again, but it's okay. We have a Regan Grimes, Right. Uh, that fits into that category. Then uh, I'm going to see. Taller. I'm going to yep. see him today. Beautiful shape. Everything. What are you guys yeah. training? Uh, we don't going to probably train today because I said like, hey, I have a. I'm training with Hunter at 5:30. You know, but okay. Uh, so I know what's going on. So you you took this weekend and you got some new secrets that you're going to let <laughs> loose on to Rico. Uh -oh. No, I just. Uh, yeah. I, I, I want <laughs> him to gonna put 30 pounds on. Do you uh, think he's more motivated after watching this? I think so. And that's why I, I, so. I, te I texted him last <laughs> night, and uh, he said we got to see each other today, so we're going to see. I've seen Quinton uh, Bistwood right in uh, over there, a huge, Massive. and that's another project. Very dangerous guy. Very dangerous up. guy. Beautiful shape, everything, and now size. I mean, we Michael have a Trizzo. We got another. They're all. Yeah. You know, um, you know what Andrew Jack told us on the podcast. Mm. Yeah. What do you say? Quinton's the only one that he fears. Yeah. The only he's one. Only he like fears? Yeah, because he's yeah. twenty-six. I mean, look at him already. How old is uh, Andrew Jack? 37, I think. Yeah. He's still fresh, though. Yeah, he's, he's fresh. He's, 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 I mean, we can say, we look year. at him as just bodybuilding. What a story that would have been, though, if he would have won <laughs> after being an Turned amateur one of the, the year amateur before, right? Arnold and came back and won the Open the next year. That would have been a cool story. It would be a sad story for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He was just know. thinking that. I could tell. Yeah, his sad. expression <laughs> totally <laughs> changed. I, yeah. I'm trying to talk about positive things yeah, here. No, you're like, his there. whole face like dropped down like, oh, my no, gosh. I, I absolutely love uh, Andrew, but, you know, I wouldn't, be, <laughs> I wouldn't be like this right now enjoying the, the victory, you know, because uh, I cannot be happier for Samson, you know. You, you guys... He lives bodybuilding. I, I mean, he is like uh, you were yeah, Ronnie yeah, Coleman. Yeah, you know the first. You know the first time I met him was in Egypt, mm. and we couldn't yeah. find where to go get tanned or get in. And me, him, and Regan were walking around this building. They're like, "Go this way." We walk around the building. It's a back alley. They wouldn't let us even in the building, and they had to compete. But so the, me, him, and Regan were walking all over the place trying to find our way. But listen, I mean, uh, I have to say this for Samson. Anywhere he goes, he makes sure to do some sightseeing. 
So yeah. I'm I'm waiting here you know, for prejudging, and I see the Instagram. He's riding the camel. You know, I said maybe there was a moment for after the show, not before, but oh yeah. well. You, know. you have a picture of it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. should have put it on, on the thumbnail. On Instagram, okay. yeah, you Good. can see it. And anywhere he From went. camels to Arnold Classic Arnold titles. Classic. <laughs> yeah. In what, that's about 16 months apart? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The camel almost flew me off. It threw me off. Like it. Because yeah. when it stands it. up, oh, when it see? stood up, it almost like it yeah. flung me forward. And I was like uh, 300 pounds I do, at the I time. do think going into this year's Olympia and going forward, you're going to see a bit of a change of the guard now. Because... There's a bunch of tall there's guys. Been a with change. Yeah, there's been a change, though. And yeah. I, I see. Yeah. So that's uh, what you were saying. What are you going to do with the tall guys against the short guys? Look, I, I again, not kissing ass of the judges. I just think that the judges are doing phenomenal Go work. They consider everything, right? And uh, every show is different. You know, so they didn't favor Nick because he's the highest place in Olympia. Right? But we touched that subject in the last podcast, right? You, you feel that now. Yeah. Right, it's uh, it's more. I was just thinking something though. The top five, right? <laughs> like, do they do they put Derek and Hottie first and second, and then it goes the taller guys? Like, you know, you always think there's going to be someone like in between. Like here, we thought, okay, they're going to put Andrew and Samson back to back and put yeah. Nick to third. See, I thought Nick should have been either first or third. So, so there you go. So, is it is it one of those occasions where, I mean, it's going to come down to shape versus condition because we know hottie's gonna come in crazy yeah. Yeah, yeah condition but he like you said he still is but he doesn't have the shape that samson has yeah yeah so th that's we're gonna play to our strengths but we have to respect i mean i love Hadi. is if if would you yeah. be happy if this package came to the olympia like this past weekend you'd feel that that could be a big um challenge to hottie chupin or I, I, maybe it wouldn't be exactly enough you know, maybe because Hadi is just like shh, super power. So I'm sure that uh, I'm going to get the feedback. You know, for Olympia, you got him even a little bit more tighter. Probably. So for me, there was eight weeks. You know, in between, I said we play to our strengths. <laughs> Originally, we would always ha only have a Sean Clarita, so there was no necessity to go crazy. Then when I heard Big Rami and Andrew and Nick, okay, we still play for, uh, to our strengths. I still think that. Uh, um, Samson could have beat uh, Nick even at Olympia. Just okay, just get him a little bit tighter, and then Andrew was a question mark. But I consider this to get super lean. He's going to uh, lose that pop a little bit, and uh, Samson's going to overwhelm him. So uh, everything worked perfectly, and uh, we're going to get uh, uh, Samson in the best. Let me ask condition. you: Has Hadi ever stood next to someone that was dramatically bigger? That yeah, has shape. Yeah, Cedric yeah, big Rami. Yeah, but Cedric never in shape though. Yeah, Cedric. I mean, I mean Rami. really, good Cedric, shape. Cedric beat uh, um, Hadi in the San Marino. Yeah, but that was three. That was four years before he even. Yeah, but uh, it's still, it's still the same. He was, he was condition he was like two twelve, two fifteen there. You know what? I mean, he uh, Hadi yeah. is crazy. He was two twelve, two twenty. You know, I mean, what I'm, just, is I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Has he ever stood next to a guy that's six feet that has a tiny waist that has the lines of shape? Has he ever done that? I don't, I don't, I don't study it like. Yeah, he does. I, don't, so I think I mean, this is a I, new thing. I don't, so, get, I don't care because I think that this thing is going to be this battle is going to be yeah. this brewing. Mm -hmm. Like last year was a crazy lineup. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, this Arnold Classic, guys, this is like the best one we've seen in of how course. long? Yeah. Like this top four or five was crazy. Yeah. I, I'm going to say something against me and against. Uh, <laughs> Holy with, shit! Uh, no, no, no. mark this down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I saw uh, Jay coming up, right, did I think that he can beat Kevin and Flex and Sean, aesthetic guys? I didn't, I didn't see mm -hmm. it happening. Mm -hmm. Did you deserve to beat him? Hell yeah. Okay, so aesthetic guy that uh, would not consider, okay, so can Nick Walker do the same thing? Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, I hope Nick is going to come to dinner maybe this week. I'll, I'll call him uh, and, and talk about it. He has, he has to play to his strengths. But if you ask me what is, I've, b I've been doing this lately, hashtag bodybuilding, hashtag bodybuilding. <laughs> you know, this is what I, I would like to see bodybuilding to be all Do about. Do you think in 2001 I was aesthetically he, large? You were, you, you were, yeah. 2001. Do you think I, I was like, I, was I in a Samson type situation where I had aesthetics 
and you had you were a little bit bigger and wider and thicker maybe not as exactly aesthetic but yeah but but would yeah. you say my combination then was better yeah, than 2009 was, as far as aesthetics versus mass but i don't know if i yeah, if i could give you 2001 over 2009 i i don't i'm a aesthetic oh, guy one i was definitely more aesthetic, aesthetic yes yes but you see, I don't know who would Same win. weight, you know, same weight. So who do you think would win, 2001? Uh, 2001, I think. Jay? Even though, uh, okay, yeah, I so, think so. Good. So you are moving direction. I mean, Nino's 2000, always, Nino 2009, goes to I set the standard. I mean, today's yeah. society knows me for the quad stop, for the 09, yes. I mean, for the comeback. Plus you won. That makes sense. It's but funny, no one ever talks about 06 when I beat Ronnie Coleman. You notice that? Yeah. I and I was huge, but I don't think the condition was what it was at either one of those other contests, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. 2001, okay, 2001 is probably my favorite and many people's favorite, Jay Cutler. And coming from you, that you think that 2001 smaller aesthetic version would be 2009, the big monster, great. Ronnie Coleman loves his 98 I, Olympia I, I, better than any. I think Phil Heath in 11 when he beat me was yeah. like aesthetic versus some mass. Like, I think that was his probably his best, right? So, yeah. I mean, there's always that question mark. I mean, what Who do you was think? This? What do you think uh, Kevin Lebroni considered his best? I mean, 92? 93 uh, Night of Champions. Okay, maybe. Yeah, he was but, small. But uh, what about Flex Wheeler? Like, nine, like no, Flex, 93? Flex, I asked him, I asked everybody the or? same question. He thinks 99 uh, British Grand Prix. Uh, he he I, liked I, I his big I didn't see that. Was I mean, Kevin, was, Kevin was good there, though, too. Yeah. I thought, I, from randomly, what Kai Green looked like at the oh, nine. Oh. Australia. Oh, 09 Arnold, he was good, too. It was, right, it was right after that. Yeah. He looked crazy. Yeah. He's just like, I, I was in the States from 2011 to 2017, so I can't really tell. I've been, you know. When I was in Japan and uh, Cedric McMillan, no, the, yeah, Cedric was second, uh, Reagan was third, and uh, uh, Morel one of these one, yeah. one it was like <laughs> rude awakening i see them backstage out of shape and I see them on stage a little bit more in shape but far away from what i've seen on a video that time on a the video they look way better than in person so i, I know it can go both directions yeah what you see here in the video or what we see uh what we saw on friday it was different you know uh, you have to see and judges don't look at the videos they look what's of on course stage. Yeah, what's movement on stage yeah. yeah well listen it's awesome to always have you on man yeah. we're excited we i know it's been anticipation of having you, know, you, want, you wanted to tell me <laughs> you were wrong okay <laughs> I so so I, admi I admittedly yeah. congratulations samson i was yeah. wrong uh, Nick, I love you, and it's you know I still think your time is, yeah. is coming. Yeah, for sure. But I I want to sure. give credit to like I said, yeah. Clarita, Big Rami, uh, oh, Andrew Jack. Looked, I mean, you guys looked all good. looked great. Top like guys, they all did. I mean, listen, Akeem, I Akeem looked great. Uh, yes, yeah. awesome. Very much improved. Uh, everyone like that got up on that stage. You know, it's I I appreciate all you guys, and yeah. and uh, if we left some people out, I apologize yeah. for that. We didn't mention Justin Rodriguez. He looked, yeah. He have William to give a, give him credit. I mean, yeah. it's unbelievable what he's doing doing every show. What about there William is. Bonnick. Uh, oh, William. I mean, yeah, he was sixth, right? No, yeah, he was sixth, seventh, seventh. Um, Akeem yeah, Williams. Akeem was, yeah. So much respect for William, and I. It sounds like. Where does he, he go there. from here, though? What's he, what's he got to do? It's hard to see because. Uh, Structurally, you know, he's not wide enough, and uh, now it's wide era. And uh, I don't think he probably is going to realize that he cannot be too competitive with these guys. It's not like he was out of shape. So does he go to do some other shows? I mean, he can still win contests. Yeah, oh, that's for sure. That's for sure. What's the next show? Uh, is this question. California? California? No. Exactly. It's a, it's a little May, bit, right? Yeah. And then uh, is New like York. Uh, is there no? What uh, what's that pro show? Oh, in, no, in, the, indie pro. No, sorry, we have a Brazil. We have a Brazil. And we I have, have a, a New York pro also. Yeah, it's Brazil. Okay. Brazil is in the six weeks right now. I have a uh, uh, my Iranian guy. But, but can going William in. play second again at this Arnold Classic? Not in this lineup, right? Uh, this no, not in this it's lineup. Tough. Yeah. You know, I was I was looking uh, before I came here, ninety one, because I was uh, trying to make a, a point of. Just bone dry, def defined guy. Renel Jandier was second to uh, um, Sean Ray 91, beating Gaspari, Benfado, Mohamed Benaziz, uh, Bob Paris, all this. And he was bone dry, all that stuff, yeah. right? But uh, that was that era. Now, I, I think this is the uh, toughest Arnold Classic lineup in a long time. It is, yeah. Yeah. 
And I think that from now on, it's probably going to be just as tough because uh, they, they increase the prize money. I don't think they're going to go down. How, how can you possibly one pass? One more thing I want to mention. Flex Wheeler got the Lifetime yeah, Achievement yeah. Award. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, very emotional. I actually said to Flex, I'm really shocked you held it together. Yeah. Because I, at first, when he was watching the big screen, he, he told me this after. He said, man, I, I, I was just, I was besides myself. I couldn't think. I, and then when he got that phone out and he, he thanked all the people and talked a little bit about his career. He did great. Like, we all looked at him as, like, one of the greatest physiques, if not the greatest physique as far as balance and symmetry. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, Great, great day for him. He had his family there, and and uh, I thought it was a great moment. You know, it's a, a, a very anticipated. Normally, they don't announce so early who the lifetime achievement award is going to go to, and obviously Flex got up there and. See, when, his, when I think about it, we knew he was going to get told at the Arnold UK. Yes, oh. they told us ahead of time. So David Bay went on stage, and Flex had no clue what was about to happen. Mm. And then he said he was going to get it, and you saw Flex in the corner, and he just lost it. Because he 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 had no idea that they were going to do this. For great him. speech. Yeah. Every point that he made was great. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. When you watch that video, did it bring you yeah. back to? Because yeah. you competed a lot with Flex, a lot Listen, more than I did. Yeah. Uh, Eighty nine uh, California State Championship. He was a light heavyweight, yeah. and I was heavyweight. He he won overall. Yeah. I saw. I know him since. And that moment when I seen this kid, Jesus Christ, like <laughs> this guy can go everywhere. I mean, my wife, my uh, mother. Uh, of course, she's my fan and all that stuff. So when she saw Flex, she, was like, Damn, right. she has to say, uh, son, you know, you're good, but you're not as good. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, uh, Flex was amateur and I was pro and I was telling him, look, I'm a huge f uh, uh, fan of yours. Yeah. yeah so uh, it, unfortunately, he did, uh, I wish he won at least one Olympia, right? Because you would never know, 1998 was his Olympia to be taken, and mm -hmm. then Ronnie surprised him, and then you would think that maybe 99 is going to happen, but uh, Ronnie just kept improving, mm -hmm. and that was it. And then he uh, Flex was doing all these Arnold Classics in between, and sometimes it's hard to peak twice. You know, he he said something when he was on stage that he never won an Olympia, <coughs> but him winning an Arnold, Arnold yeah. Met, so you being someone who's done both. Yeah, but Arnold that. gave him the award too, and he called him the greatest yeah. body, no, I'm body just saying, builder. Like, when you you've won an Olympia, nah, but this, winning an Arnold, seeing yeah, him. it it was you know it was so prestige, right? Yeah. I mean, when you looked at that lineup of guys, you know, Gaspari being the first winner, yeah. and I think Nick Walker was the last one, right? That was featured, yeah, because he won yeah. last year, right? Um, Brandon Curry was, but he wasn't there. I don't know why. Yeah. You know, you know what I have well, to Kevin say though. Wasn't there either. What about the po your repost? What did that guy say? It looks like Jay yeah, Cutler. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, like a teenager. Monks, Jay Cutler like looks like the uncles teenager and against dads, his uncles you know? and dads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was dressed a little different, obviously. Yeah. I, you know, we went back and forth on this, not to get off topic, but he's like, you know, wear a suit. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to go casual this year because yeah. I've always worn suits. And for some reason, I just wanted to do something different. Yeah. So I just kind of dressed more casual. And it's like, it's like, figures the one time, the one time everyone's in suits except me. So I kind of stood out there. And of course, I'm in a red shirt. But uh, yeah, Flex Wheeler, man, like he's, uh, he was a huge inspiration to me. I'm sure he was to you. Flex we had him on here. He's like one of our most viewed podcasts. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have him back on again. And, you know, he's kind of left this, this mark in bodybuilding, like, I don't know if we've seen any more like genetically gifted like that uh, yeah. muscle joints, yeah, symmetry joints was like that, that. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. So uh, uh, shout out to Flex Wheeler. Shout man. out to Flex. He's, oh, by the way, you were gonna put me on the spot and show me something on your phone. You, 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 oh you yeah, had a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you didn't want to show so, me so before. We're so. do this. Hold on, let me put this camera on you. We need, we need to show the. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. This. But somebody's uh, calves. So, so no, no, you have to see. I just want to see what the initial impression is of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What goes through your head? Uh, well, the, that's not even the basketball, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know? But I, I've seen it before. Yeah. You know? but look at Ronnie's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And we'll show it on the. I'll put it on the screen. Holy so we got to we, we got to figure some type of contest for the best meme. <laughs> yeah. How can you have a straight face when that walks up to you? <laughs> I don't want to say. Either. I don't want to say. Okay, but don't say. Thinking, yeah. 
Yeah, it was a good, great time. A lot of fans and... Uh, yeah. You know, we appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah. And we'll have you back for, I don't know what. Anytime. We'll have you back, bias Post coach. Answer. I don't know who we yeah. need to. Uh, Are we going to call a bias coach episode? We, can, well, we have to do that. No, no, I, I have to. Yeah. You have to do that. got something coming. This is a bias coach episode. Okay. okay. You said it, so now. I, I said it. Well, yeah. thank, thank you so much, bro. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Appreciate you. Here, I get it.